Welcome to tonight's game. It promises to be a good one between the Missouri Tigers and the Kansas Jayhawks. Dick, you've been in this situation as a coach. What do you tell your team when it looks like a mismatch on paper? I think it's a major mismatch. You're talking about David versus Goliath. I mean, they got to go out and play with no fear. They can't be worried. The Jayhawks, by all accounts, should have an easy time of it tonight, Dick Vitale. How do they ensure that victory, though? They should listen to me and follow the simple keys, baby. First of all, hand the ball down low for some easy baskets. It'll be a bonus if we can get their big man in foul trouble. Next, take care of the ball on offense and play aggressive perimeter defense. And lastly, you got to pound the board. Boards lead to wins, baby. I think you're dead on, Mr. Vitale. Let's see what happens. Let's get this one started. Both teams looking to get things going here. That's Matador defense. Nobody coming over. Nobody giving any help. I mean, that's how you see better defense on a playground. Sets the screen for his teammate. Makes the shot. Look at that. That's unbelievable, baby. He'll regroup the offense. He comes away with it. They push it up on the break. Slam jam, bam, up and away. The elevator man. They love it. Bed the low block. Spander receives the ball, tries for two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. Inside, jumped in front to take it away. I don't know if you saw it, Brad, but the mask got fired up after the last dunk. I think he wants to play, man. He's all fired up. Put him in, coach. Put him in. Get him some T.O., baby. Get him some time. Give him a chance, baby. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Harvey is animated and ready to go. I love seeing players play with emotion and passion. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. Here's the offensive drop step on the low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. And the ball goes out of bounds. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. High post screen for the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. The power forward handles the pass. Number 32 with the fake. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. Trying to pack it inside. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. Step out on that screener. Good athletic move. Very athletic. Got great athleticism. Shows patience waiting for the reset. That has some folks out of their seats. What a reaction, Brad. The fans are loving it. Inside. Leans in. They're lighting it up from the field right now, Dick. They're in a dangerous rhythm, my friend. Dangerous. Dangerous for the defense if they keep it up. Looking for a good shot. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Fakes the shot. Harvey handles the feed. That's one of the things I absolutely love about college basketball, Dick, the atmosphere. Hey, this place is remarkable. The noise is deafening. That's an eight-zip run. 
Steel go up the other way, get a layup. They really seem to be letting this one get away, Dick. Yeah, there's been a breakdown somewhere. They need to talk this one over, Brad. I look for something different here coming out of this timeout, Dick. I wouldn't doubt it, Brad. He tries to knock down the three. Wow, what a super job of running his man into the screen for that sweet jumper. Down in the low block, try to work inside, and he scores despite the hack. I want to thank you for joining us tonight with Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. I'm Brad Nessler. Starks receives the pass, drains the shot. Nice drop step. I tell you, he does a great job with his footwork to create the drop step. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, as you know, points in the paint is a stat that coaches will readily look at, comparing their team's dominance in this category with opposition. Establishing that inside presence is an important facet of consistent success. Thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you one thing, you better be able to establish post play because that gives you inside outside action. Got some room. From left of the circle, way off target. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Dick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. Turnover City now will always really negate any offense. He keeps the dribble as they reset. Gave it up. The shot from the baseline. The Tigers have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Shoots from the top of the key. Kansas have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. Looks at a three. It's good. Here's another look at the play. <laughs> On the dribble, gives it up. Here they come with a double team, just gets the rejection. There's the pick. Not, get, not getting enough motion on offense. Here they are in transition, Brad. He makes a nice shot fake. Double team now, bad angle. Stolen away. You really need to protect the ball around these guys. Got the high pick. Gave it up. He tries the three. These three balls are hitting from everywhere. That's right, Brad. I saw one come from the hot dog stand not too long ago. <laughs> they work it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Tries the turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. 
Watch, I didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position, and then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. On the outside, in the paint, for two. They still don't score. They work the perimeter. He launches a three, sinks it. Gave it up. Had an open guy in the post and went the other way. They've left him completely alone. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Buchanan wants some encouragement from the fans. Well, he wants the crowd to get up for this defensive possession. He shoots from right of the circle. Missouri are doing a nice job of putting a solid run together here. Yeah, they're really starting to click on offense. They'll work it around the arc. Picks off the pass. Dick, they're ripping up the nets tonight. Hey, they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. The momentum is on their side. High fives, chest bumps. We're seeing it all now. Hey, hey, why not? It's a team sport, right? No good. He cleans the glass. Let's it fly. Off the rim and no good. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. If I'm coaching, he's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> he's pounding the ball with a deck. Where's he going? The ball goes out of bounds. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Well, Brad, it's still early, but I'm hearing on the sidelines there needs to be some sort of rhythm established before this one gets out of hand. Guys? All right, thanks, Aaron. Like usual, there's a sea of blue in the bleachers. Well, wearing the school colors is important to them. I think it unifies everyone. Way off target. Makes it. about ready to resume. Entry pass in the paint. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Puts it up, looking for contact. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Both teams are looking to get something going here. The student body appears to be pumped up, and they are ready to explode. Aren't they great, Brad? I love it. On the dribble, gives it up. He shoots from the top of the circle. Goes in. I love that block shot, Brad. Really gives you a lot of momentum. He gets it up the floor with a quick push. He hits the shot. Let's watch the move as he works his man and on a fadeaway jumper. Working it around the perimeter. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, it's silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Tries to get the D to bite. 
Tries for two. I'll tell you, terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. Here's a double team. They say forget about it, and then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. With a quarterback pass. Takes it off him. Gave it up. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. Trying to draw some contact. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. Takes away the pass. Looking to move it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. From the top of the key. They just can't seem to miss. They found a serious stroke with their shooting, Brad. The skip pass is picked off. Oh, what a great job transition. Offense. Poor job defensively. Don't get back. Don't stop the ball. And they're allowed to convert. Get the number game going. Trying to draw the foul. He puts it in with contact and all. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Looking for a good shot. In the paint. There's the trap. Perfectly executed. Dump it inside. Coach looks on. Focused. A lot of intensity. A lot of emotion. Good job defensively. They're off into transition. There was no doubt about that one. Time to pick up the defense here now. Got a nice screen for two. He makes the shot. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Goes up for two. Missouri are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. There's a bad pass right to the defender. High post flashes for the opportunity. He shoots from right of the circle. Goes. <laughs> Tries for two. And in and out. Jumps into the defender. Boy, terrible execution on offense. He shoots from the top of the key. Off the rim and no good.
And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? They are red hot right now. They're feeling it from everybody on the floor, Brad. They're getting it from every spot on the court. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. in the post but elected to reverse blocked nice job defensively I think right now got to focus defensively now the high screen basket falls despite the contact for two I tell you once you get deep position like that it's automatic There's a double team waiting there. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Rucker steps to the line for the first time. Hits the first. Missouri is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. Those free throws come. Let's go back on that campus. It's BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. Gets it back out. Obvious foul. That's probably why you're out of coaching. Too many points off turnover. I'll tell you one thing. That leads you to the exit sign. No question. You get the Ziggy. I'll tell you, you got to protect the basketball. You can't turn it over. <laughs> the Ziggy. I love that. Here's a flash from the high post. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. There they come with a double team to stop it. That was nice. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Great play to take that to the basket. They work the perimeter. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. That's a foul. Good teams will get to the line often, but getting there is half the battle. You then must convert your free throws. And he got them both. Brad, if they were smart, they'd go two for one. Adam. Momentary look from three-point land. This crowd is unbelievable today. Oh, they're emotional. They're packed. They're jammed. You can't find an empty seat. Watkins goes to the line for the first time. It's good. throws go. Gave it up. He blocks the shot. They get out on the break. Jumps in. Perfectly executed. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. The ball goes out of play. No, no, man, man. 
Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover, Dan. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. Run him right at the screen again. What did I say? Great play to take that to the basket. At halftime, the Tigers are up by 18. If you missed the play of the half, here's another look. Kansas seemed to have caught the turnover bug in that first half, Dick. And that was big, and it bit them hard. You can't put points on a board if you turn the ball over. They better hope it doesn't come back to haunt them. The way I look at it, Brad, I think the fans just want to be entertained. <laughs> well, while you're talking about it, to be completely honest, Dick, so do I. I'm the one always to root for the underdog. Why not? What are the odds? Pump fakes. Jump hook from the low post. They are heating up this building where they're shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. The Jayhawks have gone through a couple of coaching changes over recent years, and some people are curious to see how a new coach will guide a basketball craze school. Hey, the change was a blow and a surprise to most at the time, but they're in the process of now moving forward. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Ten seconds on the shot clock. That was absolutely phenomenal. Working it around the perimeter. He fouled him. You start comparing these backcourts, Dick. What are your impressions so far? You know, well, for me, Brad, good guard play will take you a long ways. If you think about teams in the past, they all had good guards who can apply good ball pressure, attack off the dribble, and distribute the ball. I can't emphasize enough how important backcourt play is. Gets his second. Third shot, good. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Arte just doesn't beat him to the basket, not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. He's going nowhere. Ball well, no. stolen. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover City, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. Fakes the jumper. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. That spin move's not going to work against a defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. On the outside, he up fakes. Dumps it in. Tries for two. He rips the nets for another score. He's absolutely unconscious. Tries the three ball. He buries the shot. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Stolen ball. They move it up in a hurry. With authority. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Perfectly executed. Five, five, four, 
They'll work it around the arc. He shoots from left of the circle. The Jayhawks have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Brad, he's on fire. See if they can get a good shot this trip. Well, there's a turnover situation. I guess most notable, the number of points off turnover. Well, Mr. Nestler, that's why you want to take care of the basketball. You want to protect it. Turnovers will result in points being scored at the other end. That's one statistic which coaches always monitor. Makes the first shot. Second shot is no good. Rebound. Fill the lanes. That's the only way to be able to get some fast break opportunities. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately to block out and get good rebound position. Too physical. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. What well, a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Makes his first. Got it from the free throw line. College basketball is special to me for that reason right there, Nick. The man is off the charts, Brad. And a slam. Look at that spacing. Had him in the low block, but opted against it. He strokes it. It sticks. Takes the pass in the paint. For the bucket. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. Take that to the basket. He was guarding him tightly, and then he went for the steal. An unsuccessful attempt resulting in a personal foul. Hey, defenders must be confident we're going for a steal. If not, we'll often end up with a personal foul. Not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. For two. Perfectly executed. And the ball goes out of play. Goes up for two. In and out. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. The post flashes up high if he wants it. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. 
Got to take some pride on the defensive. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defense. Count the dunk plus one for the foul. Hey, congratulations, baby. You've been posterized. Bryant steps to the line for the first time. Gets it. Dick, they're really getting it done from the line tonight, aren't they? And a surprisingly collective effort, Brad. Double team now, Ben Angle. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. Three, three. Oh, we're still a foul. The coach not happy in the sideline. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, it's a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. For the bucket. Can't get the shot to go. Intercepted. He shoots from the top of the key. He gets another one to go. This is a shooting clinic, my friend. Get ready to resume the action. That spin move's not going to work against a defense uh, like that. I'll tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Up and inside. He shoots from downtown. He gets it to fall. Spander is asking the fans for even more encouragement. He's asking for a bit more in the next possession. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Now they work it around the perimeter. Looking for contact. Kansas are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. He rejects it. And again, they look to run. Goes up for two. Knocks it down. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I did a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. On the dribble, gives it up. I think they're trying to make a statement. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Dick and Brad, there was a question coming into tonight's matchup. Are the favorites worthy of their ranking? From their performance so far tonight, it looks as if the naysayers were right. Let's rewind that. And a momentary look from three-point land. He hits it. He's making just terrible choices shooting the ball. He's got to settle down, man. Settle that cat down. Picks off the lazy pass. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Oh, 
great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Launches away. Too much contact there. It knocked him off balance a little. Kansas are on a run right here as of late, Nick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. Pushing that basketball. Modest play is having a negative effect on his composure emotionally. He couldn't be much lower on him. Things aren't coming easy for him right now. He's in a rut. For two, perfectly executed. <laughs> and the fans are going wild. Well, listen to those fans. The crowd is thunderous. Goes up for two. Scorches the net. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Entry pass in the paint. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Well, that's good defense, a steal on the inside. Oh, what a way to force the turnover. Great anticipation by the post player. And the ball goes out of bounds. Oh, look at him sneering at the crowd. They won't like that one bit. You've got that right, Brad. High post flashes for the ball handler. Two. Great play to take that to the basket. He throws it up from downtown. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. I'm sorry, Brad, but this young fella seems to be their only hope at the moment. Jumped in front to take it away. Cross court. Leans in. Easy one. I need to see that again in slow-mo. Top of the circle. Oh, yes. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. And he scores despite the hack. Puts it up, looking for contact. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. Gets it to go. The student body has got it going on. They look to be filled with rage and eager for a win. They look like they're having a blast. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. The ball goes out of bounds. Look at him now, just enjoying the moment. Hey, he's dancing, baby. A dancer. I never knew that. I'm surprised. The ending to this one might be headline news in tomorrow's paper. You've got to love these close ones, Brad. Every error is magnified and could be the difference between a win or a loss. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. 
fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up and get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. Up and inside. Decided against the open post and reverses the ball. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Got a wide open look. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Ten on the shot clock. Too much. That's a foul. There's a look at the timeout situation. Hey, some people like to call it game management, Brad. Knowing when to use timeouts is an art. Also, team fouls. Defending without fouling is always important. Dick, this team is having some serious problems at the free throw line. And it's a collective effort by all of them tonight. Sinks it. Third one is no good. This team has got to be so frustrated. They are terrible at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Frustration only makes it worse, Brad. They have to figure out what they're doing wrong and fix it. With a bucket. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Watkins receives the pass. Gave it up. He looks for three. Rims out. The point guard gets the ball. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. There's the trap. He strips him clean. For two. He might be on his way to a career game, partner. Well, he will, Brad, if they don't get somebody on him in a hurry. Dumping inside. Oh, right, right there, they missed him inside. You gotta get the ball when a guy is open. That's a special art, feeding the post. Here's a double team. Robs him of the ball. Look at these fans. They're loving it. My goodness. It's chaotic in here. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Working it around the perimeter. Looking for a good shot. Not getting great looks in terms of perimeter threes. Defense really extended on that perimeter line. Goes up for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Up and inside. There they come with a double team to stop it. The ball goes out of play. Well, Dick, the shots seem to be dropping for him right now. Well, I'll tell you one thing. They're dropping, and you better have good productivity out of your front court. When you have that balance inside, outside, you got a great chance to win. And you have to have post players that are going to make big plays. On the dribble, gives it up. Double team now, that angle. Strips the ball. He shoots from the top of the key. He gets it to go. Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. He rejects it. Look at the speed. I'll tell you, man, there's nothing like having athleticism and quickness. Watch again. Steal. The 
a timeout on the floor, and that gives us a break to go courtside. Here's Aaron. Well, guys, this is a great opportunity for the coaches to calm their teams down. With this much time remaining, they're stressing play smart basketball and take care of the ball. All right, Aaron, we're going to watch that the rest of the game. They switch things around here for the moment, Dick? I don't think so, but we'll wait and see, Brad. Gave it up. Trying to stay with him defensively. Down he goes. Oh, what an acting job. There's no doubt in my mind he's flopping, baby. On the outside. There's a double team waiting there. The center with the ball. Up fake. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I did a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. And he goes with a spin. Ooh, look at the shot block. But he got some contact. Nice hops. They move it into the front court. Steals the ball. It's a T.O., baby. Hey, it's nail-biting time. Where's my P.T. Beer? Who's going to step up and make the big shot? Let's get back to the action. Shot clock is dead. Buchanan receives the ball. Better fall quick. That's a matter of clock management, isn't it? Dick? You talk about a great drive. How about the State Farm drive of the game? I tell you, he was explosive. He was up, up, and away. What a drive to the rack, baby. That was special. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. Brad, I think he'll continue to do so in an attempt to get back in the ball game. They should look to foul the opponent's weakest free throw shooter. Good job defensively. They just won't give many openings. Pressure in the basketball. There's the turnover situation for the half, Dick. I'll tell you, the lower the number, the better off your team will be. With too many turnovers, the likelihood of you playing in the game at the end drops significantly. Gets the second. T.O. called. Hey, we got a board burner here, baby. I'm thinking last second shot for the win, Mr. Nestler. Coming out of the timeout, I'd expect we're going to see more focused play on both sides. One would assume so. They shave the lead down to three. There's a lot of time to pull this one out, Brad. The center gets the pass. The shot from the baseline. Wow, and that stops the clock again. Full house and a packed crowd, and they are into it tonight. I tell you, what emotion, what an edge for the home team. He makes the front end of the one and one. Hits the second shot. Timeout on the floor. It's a close one. The trigger fingers are getting itchy, baby. This one's too close to call. They might try and surprise the opposition with a little change here, Dick. That might not be a bad idea. 
Dick, they got to find a way to regroup. We didn't expect this to happen tonight, and this has shocked me, and I think it shocked their fans and probably their coaching staff. Well, I think what happened, Brian, they really weren't focused, and right now there's a bit of a reality. I think they're starting to get a little cocky. Maybe we didn't have press clippings, but now maybe they'll say to themselves, you know what? We better come to play, and we better be ready. And I think that starts with practice. Kansas loses the game. This is going to be hard to swallow since they were the favorites coming into this game. So for Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.